Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this motion graphic template animations inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition. We will call this first animation as main animation width i'll choose 180 height also 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 seconds and background color i'll choose solid white color and simply hit ok click on this choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action so we will get this kind of read over here now hit ctrl n to create a new composition and we will call this composition as a circle and height width i'll choose same and all the other settings are also same and simply hit ok to create this composition now go to the shape options out of which I'll choose ellipse and I don't need any stroke so I'll delete this stroke. The only thing I want over here is fill so I'll choose white color for this fill and double click on this ellipse. So as you can see we have one ellipse over here. Now after that I'll go to the effect and presets panel and I'll apply four color gradient effect on it. Just simply type four over here so you will get this kind of effect simply double click on it as we can see we are getting this effect over here now as we can see we have different kind of colors over here but we will stick with the white shade of colors so i'll choose somewhere around like this then instead of green i'll choose this color i'll choose this color over here hit ok and instead of this i'll choose this color yep so this is these are my colors now after that i'll create another ellipse simply double click again press s for scaling options scale it a little bit and move it over here and simply apply gaussian blur effect on it type blur over here so you will get this gaussian blur and simply double click and increase the blurriness select this shape layer press s for scaling option and scale it and increase the blurriness now select this shape layer again hit ctrl d again d and i'll delete this gaussian blur press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit just like that now go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and i'll select this circle and i'll drag it over here now press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit just like so and I'll move this over here hit ctrl D again move it over here press S increase the scale size somewhere around this hit ctrl D again move it over here press S and move it over here now hit W to select our rotation tool and we will rotate it like that also we will select this view and we will rotate it like that press ctrl y on keyboard to create a solid background and hit ok and drag it over here now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply ramp effect i mean gradient ramp and simply double click on it you can easily swap these colors and instead of white color i'll choose something like that just like so hit ok if you don't want this circle over here simply go to the circle select this circle press s either you can hide it so we will get this kind of stuff or you can simply decrease the size of it so you'll get somewhere around like this to you now we will type our text i'll choose this text tool over here and i'll type motion hit ctrl a i'll increase the size select this text i'll choose white color for this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll decrease the horizontal distance between this alphabets and go to the align tab align it horizontally hit ctrl d again by holding shift i'll drag it down and i'll type my another word called graphics just like so select this text press and press v to select our selection tool move this thing over here and this thing over here and i'll adjust it like that 
select any circle out of it hit ctrl d again drag it at the top press s and we will move over here select this one over here and this one over here now select every circle layer and go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply wiggle effect on it make sure that you have select, still selected these layers or you can do increase the wiggle amount somewhere around it and if you want then you can increase the wiggle speed to 2 so if I hit play now we get something like this or instead of 2 I'll type 1.2 or let's say 0.8 so we'll get this kind of animation you can also apply wiggle rotation effect so it will rotate also something like that now select this circle select any circle and simply apply tint effect on it just like that now if you swap these colors as you can see you are getting something like that now what we will do we will choose the combination of two colors like one is red and let's say another one is dark red or any color you want like this blue or anything you like i'll choose somewhere around here now select this tint effect hit ctrl c you can press ctrl v on any circle so it will automatically apply the another one and over here you can change the color you want somewhere around like this select this circle hit ctrl v again choose another colors either you can swap these colors or you can choose another colors I'll swap these colors and let's see how does it looks. It looks good to me. Now I'll select this big one. Hit Ctrl V again. Choose different colors. I'll choose something like that. Something like that. Hit OK. So you'll get this kind of stuff. Now select this tint effect. Hit Ctrl C. Select this background and hit Ctrl V again. Or you can choose these colors in gradient ramp also. You can swap these colors or you can choose something like this. This looks good to me. Now we will select this circle over here. We will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply drop shadow effect on it and make sure this is over here I'll increase the distance also something like that I'll also increase the softness or up to let's say 400 and opacity I'll choose 40 and color I'll choose this blue color like that or somewhere around here hit ok select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c to copy this effect select all the circles and simply hit ctrl v so it will apply this drop shadow effect on it now select those text press p for position create one keyframe and i'll move this thing over here and this thing over here now go to around six seconds move this thing over here and this thing over here I'll choose quarter resolution so we'll get this kind of animation now I'll type my text over here I'll choose the light version of this font and I'll type full text let's say motion graphics hit ctrl a I'll decrease the font size somewhere around this now select this text go to the rectangle tool and choose rectangle tool and select this layer and create one mask on this one like this go to the text go to the path option 
and instead of none i'll choose mask one so as you can see we are getting something like that and i'll choose reverse path if you want or you can choose somewhere around like but i am not gonna choose anything i'll choose full resolution hit ctrl t to select this text hit ctrl c to copy this text and after hit tap or double space bar and hit ctrl v again double space bar and hit ctrl v and repeat this procedure hit ctrl a i'll increase the font size up to 36 let's say somewhere like a to you select this text and drag it over here now go to the mask options mask one let's go to the text options go to the path options and if i increase this first margin as you can see we will get this animation create one keyframe on the first margin create you and go to around six seconds and i'll make it somewhere around let's say 300 and hit n so if i hit play we will get this kind of animation and if you want instead of this red thing what we will do we will copy this tint effect from any background hit ctrl c over here i'll delete sorry i'll delete this tint effect and hit ctrl v to copy and move it over here so you'll get something like this so we will get this kind of animation and after that select this text hit ctrl d again drag it over here now i'll create right click on over here create one null object move over here select both of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s increase the scale now select these two text i'll delete the refills i'll choose the stroke and for the stroke i'll choose white color and drag these layers at the bottom somewhere around over here and stroke width i'll choose 0.5 so now we will get this kind of animation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.